The first at six this Wednesday, Governor McMaster signed a bill that encourages more military personnel to come to South Carolina and makes retiree pay exempt from state income tax. News 13 Sally Walkup met with some veterans groups to tell us how they think this could impact our area. The Workforce Enhancement and Military Recognition Act will benefit over 62,000 retired military members currently living in our state. It will also encourage military members to remain here after their retirement or move to South Carolina from other places. It's fabulous to see the government working on taking care of its soldiers and veterans that went to war and fought for this country and everything it stands for. Um, just, just the money that it saves them compensates for what's happening with today. The executive director for the Veterans Welcome Home and Resource Center says this is a step in the right direction that encourages military members to stay in South Carolina and Horry County. It's about one in ten citizens that live in Horry County are veterans. Um, and it's because of things like this. So even 100% veterans where they don't pay property tax or the vehicle tax, um, on their two vehicles. It's huge and that brings veterans back to this county and, and helps propel this county. The South Carolina Department of Veterans Affairs Secretary says veterans are valuable for the skills they bring. People that are highly trained, educated, motivated, fit, disciplined, know how to get up in the morning, know how to take charge, know how to be in charge. Uh, and by definition, we are a very diverse group of people demographically and we know how to build teams from very diverse groups of people we may never have met before. This bill encourages military members to stay in South Carolina and continue to benefit the state. It just grows the social fabric of the state. And yeah, I mean, it puts a little bit of money back in the pockets and that money is going to be put to good use. It's going to go to education. It's going to go to community service. It's going to go to, you know, spend on the economy of South Carolina. This is a win-win for everybody, the individual, their family members, and certainly the great state that we live in. Scott Dulaban from the Veterans Welcome Home and Resource Center here in Little River says, while it might just be a few hundred dollars, it's something the veterans have told him they are very thankful for. Reporting in Little River for News 13, I'm Sally Walkup.